Hello, hunties. Can we talk? I mean, because we've got to talk. I got to voice my opinion about the homeless situation, okay? This is getting out of control. I'm at my job right now, and what happened yesterday, right here in the men's bathroom, I open the door, and there is a man standing right here, okay? And he's half nude, and I walk in, and honey, he's going to town. Yeah, just scrubbing it, honey. And of course, I back up, and I'm like, oh! I just walk out, and I'm like, oh my. Yeah, and two weeks before that was even worse. Yeah, I walk in, and there is a man standing right here, nude, completely nude, hunties. He had his razor here, his loofah here, his towel here, and his body wash. And he looks at me, and of course I did the same thing. I back up and I'm like, oh. And he goes, yeah, I'm taking a bath in your bathroom. And I'm like, yeah, I can see that. And I look down and I'm like, honey, I can tell you're not in the porn business or you'd have your shoes on. And of course I just walk out and I'm like, oh. And my boss is standing over there, and I'm like, girl, he is in the bathroom, nude, taking a bath. And she was like, oh, Jason, there was a lady in the bathroom last week doing drugs. And I was like, oh, no. She said, yeah, one of the customers came up to me and said, ma'am, there's somebody in the bathroom, and I don't know if she's okay. So she walks in there, and the lady tells her something about, oh, I got bug bites all over me. And she said, give me just a couple minutes, and I'll be right out. So she comes running out of the bathroom while my boss went back to doing her work. And she says, Jason, she comes running out of the bathroom. She rips this thing completely off the wall, takes her shoes and throws them, and then starts yelling and screaming and cussing at people. So she had to call the police. And of course the police came and she's out of here. And then, what was it? About eight days ago, one of my customers comes in and she's doing her laundry and she comes up to me and she goes, um, sir, there's a lady in the bathroom sleeping and it smells like smoke in there. And I'm like, oh no. So I go, you know, swiftly over to the door and I'm like, hello. And I'm looking and I'm like, oh, um, Ma'am, hello. It smells like smoke in here. Are you okay? And she wakes up and she goes, Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was at Holiday Inn. And I'm like, No, honey, you're not at Holiday Inn. You're at the laundry mat. And I said, Was you smoking in here? And she goes, Oh, no, I was just keeping warm by a fire. And I was like, Oh, okay, well. You know, you don't live here, honey. Please don't take up residence in our bathroom. And she was like, okay. And she just leaves. <sighs> okay, so right now, I believe Kansas has $2 billion of surplus money, I believe. That's what it is. You guys know what I'm talking about. If not, research it. Um, because we did pretty good with our budget. And we've got some money. And I don't understand why we can't use some of it to house or at least have buildings around the city that people can come and sleep and maybe wash up and stuff instead of it affecting us jobs, uh, us job owners or business owners or business workers or, you know, employees at jobs. It's affecting us. I mean, you got people that are doing drugs in the bathroom, sleeping in the bathroom, taking baths in the bathroom. I mean, it's getting out of control. And I mean, aren't we just feeding all kinds of countries millions and millions of dollars and doing bogus research around the United States, just forking out money for dumb researches and I'm like, you know what? We don't have money that we can help these people with some kind of place to clean up and sleep. We can't take care of people on our own soil. I mean, come on now. This is getting ridiculous.
put in the comments what you guys think.